I want to tell you, girl, that I love you. Oh no! Feelings! Oh, gross! Oh, don't do that! Oh, yeah, she didn't say she loves me back. It's only been three days though. They should have matched me up with no Yo, you guys are really something else and um, we're gonna talk about it. What's up everybody and welcome. My name is Igor and today unfortunately I'm not joined with my beautiful wife India. She is not feeling too well so today is gonna be solo dolo. But in any event, I am still gonna bring you a recap of what happened in this episode. I'm gonna bring you some funny, so definitely stick around. Also, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video because I'm telling you, it gets really funny here. Ask the viewers. And for those of you who are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. We do appreciate you, so thank you so much for that. Anyway, without further ado, I took a lot of notes on this episode. I'm gonna try to keep this video short though. And um, I just really want to know your thoughts because obviously India is not here. I did talk to her a little bit. I got some of her feedback, so I'm going to share that with you. But um, let's get started. The first couple I want to talk to you guys about is Stasha and Nate. Now, I took a lot of notes on these guys all on my wonderful phone here. But basically, you know, they open up, they show the two of them having breakfast. They had a really nice breakfast. They were in the jacuzzi. They were having a good time. And my man was just drooling, absolutely just drooling over um, Stasha's booty. But anyway, we're going to talk more about that later because this whole season is just the uh, horny and the confused. Like, that's all it is. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, so they have breakfast. Everything is good. And then they go um, ATV riding. And um, what is your take on this, guys? Because the whole time, my dude is just like, I look good. I look good. Yeah, let me get that picture with that. I don't know, salamander. Like, my dude was just doing his own thing. He got lost, didn't really care at all what was going on with Stasha. Was he wrong for that? You know? Um, Elijah Wan, in the last season, when he was with um, his girl, Katina, they went horseback riding together, and he was pushing her, just like Nate was pushing Stasha. But the thing is, Elijah Wan never disappeared on his girl. He was always there, and he tried to support her, you know? But um, Nate, I don't know, in my opinion, I think what he did was wrong. I know that he's married. I know that he doesn't, he's not used to that yet. But um, I definitely think what he did was wrong. If you're in a jungle type of situation, you never know what could fall out the tree. You should definitely be there for your girl. ATVs are dangerous. People get hurt on them all the time. And he kind of was just doing his own thing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I being too hard on him? Do you guys think that he's still transitioning and we need to, you know, be mindful of that? Or hell no, hell no. S skip all that. You married now, bro. Definitely take care of your woman. And um, I definitely want to give Stasha credit because afterwards she went over to him and she said, bro, um, so what's up with that? You know, you're not, you're, you're not single no more. You are married. And so there's some expectations here. You can't just be doing your own thing. Yes, have fun. But bro, like I'm here too. So maybe he could have done it for a little bit, taking some pictures for who knows what. And then um, that's it. So I was talking to India about this, right? And she said, why did he need to take these photos? Who is he trying to impress? Is he trying to impress his friend Morgan, his little girly friend that Sasha wants to kill? Who is he really trying to impress? Like, What was really up with that? And so she said that he was wrong for that. He shouldn't have done that. He should have definitely been there for her. Um, so that was it for the ATV riding situation. So then they had dinner and then she asked him after talking to his family, she discovered that he was bankrupt. So she said, how is that going on now? Are you still bankrupt? Like, what's the deal? He said, I'm not bankrupt anymore. And that's all taken care of. Matter of fact, I took care of it in one year. I don't know, guys. It's starting to sound like he broke. I know y'all said it in the comments already. I forgot exactly who it was. Um, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but somebody actually said that he's broke and we're gonna find out So maybe you are onto something um, What do you guys think is he actually broke? Did he pay it back? I mean if you were bankrupt, how did you pay it back so fast? I don't know tell me what you guys think and then she out of precaution asked for a post nup Which in my opinion, I think is fair. You don't know this person. You just met them So, you know, you can't do a prenup because you're married already but a post nup I think is perfectly acceptable. He definitely got in his feelings for sure. He was like, so you don't trust your boy? 
But eventually he did say, okay, show no problem, anything to make you feel comfortable. So I was definitely proud of him for that. But I don't know, I kind of get like really selfish vibes from him. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. When you guys write stuff in the comments, we always respond back to you. We love hearing what you have to say. So definitely let us know what you think. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about Miguel, Miguel. <laughs> Let's talk about Miguel and Lindy. So here's the situation. My dude is, I don't know, he wears a bear costume, but this dude is hornier than a rabbit. And that's pretty much everybody on the season. You know, Stasha and Nate can't wait to get at each other. They already said they want to do it. They're just, you know, taking their time to not look like, you know, uh, anything bad. And so now we have over here Miguel and he's making it clear. He's making it very, very clear to his girl. He said, yo, I need to do it. I need to get this out of my system. And she was kind of saying that, you know, I lost my virginity when I was in college. How, girl? How? Hmm? How? You the one who said you've been exposed to nothing. Now you coming out saying you lost your virginity? Hmm. And you had a boyfriend? Hmm. Suspicion, suspicion. Anyway, um, yeah, so he's just letting her know I, I want to get it done. And she said, you know, when the time is right, and he keeps pushing it. And then, um, you know, they went to this spa type of situation. They were in a jacuzzi. They were having a good time. And then they were joking and stuff like that. And then basically he decided to give her a back rub. Now she felt awkward as hell. But once he started rubbing those shoulders, you know, she was like, mm, mm. Whew. So I don't know, Miguel, keep working your magic. You might get what you want sooner than you think. I don't know, we'll see. Let's talk about Alexis and Justin. Before I tell you guys anything about how I feel about this couple, what do you guys think? What do you think are Alexis' actual intentions? What are her intentions? Because she makes no sense at all. If you watch her in After Party, if you watch her in the actual episodes, she makes no sense. She's kissing Justin constantly, on a horse, off a horse, by the water, like everywhere, in the bed, on the couch, like you name it. And then she says things like, oh, I can't, have emotions or feelings. I don't like that. Why? Like, what's up with you? Like, what is actually up with you? And she talked to the girls and they were like, yo, we understand, you know, putting up walls and being defensive and protecting yourself and being hard. We understand all of that. But there comes a time and a place where if you're with the right person, it's not necessary. And she said it herself. She actually likes Justin. She said it. She said, I like hanging out with you and you're making me feel emotions that I didn't think I could feel for somebody. She said that herself. So with that being true, why are you doing all this self-sabotage? Like, what's up with you, girl? And Justin, whew, bro, you are the most cringiest person on this earth right now. Like, you are one so cringe right now. Like, we get it. You like her. You are all in. We get it. Every five minutes, this guy, you know, he gets a chance. He wants to do something mushy, mushy, mushy. It's not working. That approach is not working. I think it's time for you to change it up a little bit. Uh, maybe give her a little space. Maybe stop with the I love yous and all this stuff. I don't know. Maybe keep a little bit, but I don't know. Guys, what do you think? Should he back off a little after what she did? He said, I love you to her. She kind of was just like, eh. Is she right though? Because technically Steve did the same thing to Nori last season. She said, I think I'm falling in love with you. And, and um, Steve was just like, uh, bro, it's been three days. So, you know, I'm not there yet. Maybe one day, but I'm not there yet. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Was, she, was Alexis right for what she said to Justin? Or could she have said it a different way? Is Justin doing too much? Is he going so hard for this girl? Like, what's the story? And what do you think are Alexis's true intentions? In my opinion, her true intentions are she just wants the D-I-C-K. That's it. If she can get the D-I-C-K and it's good, she'll stay with him. And if she doesn't like the D-I-C-K, she's going to leave. I think that's all she wants. Like I said, this season is just the horny and the confused. Speaking of horny and confused, why don't we talk about Mitch and Kristen? Guys, I mean, it doesn't get any more horny and confused than this couple. We got the horny and we got the confused. When I say the horny, we got the Kristen. And when I say the confused, well, we got Mitch with his bandaid. Yo, can somebody explain this to me? I gotta put my phone down for this. Can somebody explain this to me? Homie said 
that he's so happy they got to do an activity where he feels in his element, which was the paddle boarding and the surfing, right? Did you guys notice how he fell off the paddle board? He fell off of it every like second he was on it. Like Kristen looked like a professional next to this dude. I don't know. And then he was talking about how, oh, I want to see her in a bikini. Bro, you looking mad thirsty right now. You looking dumb thirsty. And you a Leo. I'm not trying to go into a fellow Leo. But bro, you were looking hella thirsty. After saying he wants to see her in a bikini, he calls his brother and starts crying to him on the phone about how he doesn't know how he feels about this whole situation. And basically talking about how, yo, I don't really feel physically attracted to her. I don't have that, you know, animalistic instinct um, to just go for it, you know? So I don't really know and I'm not a liar. So what should I do? Bro, bro, what are you trying to protect here? Are you trying to protect your own integrity? Or do you actually give a shit about someone's feelings? So guess what he does? Instead of giving a shit about her feelings, he ends up telling her the truth. Why? Because the horny ended up telling him, hey, um, if you don't give me D-I-C-K in the next eight weeks, I'm out. That's it. I'm not going to be married to some man who don't want to slide it in. And I don't blame her. I honestly don't blame her. How can you live with somebody? And I don't know. Anyway, he said to her straight up, uh, you know, it's not you, it's me. You don't got no problem, nothing wrong with you. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not attracted to you. What? Bro, what woman wants to hear that? For real, for real. You haven't watched the last couple of seasons, dude. You haven't watched Marilyn and Gil season where Marilyn said, when I'm ready, it'll happen. You couldn't have said that. You couldn't have done that. You didn't watch when Ryan kept saying, oh, you know, I'm not there yet. I got to develop my feelings. You didn't hear that? No. What about last season? What about last season? Where Elijah one kept telling Katina, you know, let's wait, even though I think they did it earlier. He kept saying, let's wait. It'll be more meaningful then. You never took no notes, bro. You never took no notes. I don't know, guys. I don't know. And even Jasmina, bro, you could have taken a, a page out of her book. I'm not there yet. I don't know. When I'm ready, we'll have, a, we'll have a session. Bro, like, you called your brother. You could have just done the research yourself. Watch the previous shows. You're on a TV show where people get married at first sight. You might see somebody that you married to that you don't want to sleep with at first sight. That could happen. But think about what you're saying. Because if you shut somebody down, they might never open those doors to you ever again. And you're going to have a miserable eight weeks of your season. Miserable. Or you can keep it cool and use the lines from the, the, the ones I gave you an example of. Just take it easy and see what happens. And guess what happens? Guess what happens? Kristen says, I'm not going to try for this dude. I'm not going to prove to him that I'm beautiful. And of course, Mitch said, I ex expect that and thank you for doing that. They had a hella awkward dinner. Somehow they forgave each other and moved forward. And guess what happened? Hmm. Drum roll, please. Brrr. Later that night, they went to a pool. And this time, Kristen said, I'm not trying anymore. But girl was wearing something a little bit more revealing. And um, Mitch was having a really good time. I wonder why. What were you looking at, Mitch? Hmm? Anyway, that same night, I don't know if y'all know, but that same exact night, they cuddled together, and as Mitch said, these are his words, I got fired up. He's like, you know, I got hormones too. Dude, do you see how stupid you look right now? First you said, oh, you know, I'm not attracted to her, but now you laying in bed with her after you seen her goods at the pool, and now you getting all fired up, huh? I don't know guys, Mitch is so confused. I think he just wants to slide it in, but I don't know if he wants to really be with her. I don't know. It's too soon to tell. Kristen, I don't know if she really cares. I think she really likes him, but she definitely wants somebody to give her the pipe. So guys, it's this is really the horny and the confused this whole season. Um, so that's pretty much that for them. Let's move on to the final couple, which is Ben and his girl, Morgan. Guys, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Um, I was riding for Mitch. 
he was my favorite he was india's favorite as well but um i don't know anymore we kind of off of that and now we're moving on to ben and morgan and ben is like my favorite right now just simply from um just his energy he's always so positive he's so happy you know i'm, I'm just rooting for this guy and he just like so like it's so comfortable like i can imagine it's very comfortable to be around a person like that because it's just always just a good time and that's what it seems like through tv so i could only imagine what it's like in real life and so you know they had uh, their wedding they got to meet family and friends somebody told ben that she can get freaky he got hella excited why because this is the season of the hornies and the confused Oh, and apparently um, Stasha's a freak in the sheets too. Oh no, sorry, not Stasha. Nate is a freak in the sheets, apparently. But anyway, um, I digress. So yeah, so basically they had their weddings. Their weddings were really, really good. Um, they had a good time. They got to meet each other. Uh, she took off all her makeup. He didn't say she's ugly. Um, they got to cuddle and that was pretty much that. And then um, Morgan is just basically letting him know that she wants to hit it off. And um, he had condoms in his room. So even the producers are a little shady. So he had some condoms in his room and he was like, it's my birthday. I can F if I want to. But basically um, nothing happened, right? Um, and so that was it. And then they were talking to producers later on and he was saying, um, listen, man, uh, she wants the pipe. And she in the background all just giggling and laughing. So I don't know. We're going to see what happens with these two. I really like um, these two right now. I think they're a couple I'm rooting for. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today I don't have the toddler with me. He's actually uh, upstairs. He's sleeping right now. Uh, my wife is with him. So um, I have to make this short. Hopefully this video was not too long. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about some of the things that I shared with you. I would love to have a conversation with you about this show. It's definitely getting juicy. The preview for the next video looks insane. Um, we're gonna start to really see the drama start to develop. So get ready for that. And again, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you do subscribe. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for supporting this channel. We truly, truly, truly do appreciate you. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Take care, everybody.